Hi, by now you probably noticed that I love seven segment, segment displays and I use them a lot. I love them because they are simplicity. Even absolute beginner can understand how they work. I will show you my collections of seven segment displays and different sizes I have. This is the largest one I own, uh, outer side of it is uh, 1.3 inches, but this is wrong si way to measure it. We need to measure only size of digit. So this, this one is a uh, 1 inch 7 segment display. The next one is most common, you can find it in every Arduino set and it is also cheapest one. It is 0. 0.58 inch 7 segment display. Next one is 3 digit 0 0.42 and this is voltmeter module. It have 0 0.28 inch 7 segment display. I was sure that this is smallest size you can get but then I find this. This is hero of this video. 6 digit 0 0.2 inch display. This thing is really small. If I compare it with Arduino Uno you can see that is even smaller than this 80 mega microcontroller chip. It have 6 digits and it is only 1.2 inch long. This one is surface mount package but wires can be soldered easily so I tested it on breadboard. In this video I will show you how to control this display using Arduino and where to buy it. I also ordered a custom PCB which will have this display so feel free to subscribe if you want to see this display in a real project. On this breadboard uh, we can see Arduino Nano, our 7 segment display and this chip in the middle which is Max72 19 driver for LED displays. I can connect this 7 segment display directly to Arduino but for that I will need 14 pins on Arduino so this way is not recommended. I used this driver which is connected to Arduino with only 3 wires. This chip is also used in uh, this well known 8x8 LED matrix module so maybe you have it at your home already. This chip can drive 8 digits. It is very simple to connect to Arduino. We need to connect only 3 pins. Data in, load and clock. Pins 4 and 9 are connected to the ground and pin 19 to VCC. This I set pin needs to be connected to VCC also through 10k resistor. Other pins are connected to the digits or to the segments of display. This chip needs minimum 4 volts to run and maximum 5.5 volts. Keep that in mind. Before connecting I used multimeter to identify all pins on a 7 segment display. I write them down and here they are. Bottom side of uh, this display is used for mostly digits and upper side is used for segments. You will also need this library, I will put a link in the description of this video so you can download it and uh, install it in your Arduino libraries folder. In that, uh, in that folder you will also find uh, this example we, which can help you to learn and understand all functions. So here we can see that pin 12 on Arduino is connected to data in, pin 11 is connected to clock and pin 10 is connected to load. 
that is also visible in this this um, function in the setup part of sketch we can we need to set this fun function we can set intensity which can be from 0 to 15 now it's in the middle 8 and this is function for clear display and our, our most used function will be this set digit it's me mean, it means that we will set a digit tree to number I don't know for example if we want to show number seven on digit tree we will do with this statement this uh, false mean means that we don't want to show a decimal point that's it uh, this seven segment display is not hard to use and you will see that the library is also easy to, to understand you can buy this um, seven segment uh, display on aliexpress i will put the links in the description but because that that is not very common seven 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 segment display it will not be cheap uh, like others versions uh, right now it is pretty expensive one piece uh, cost about three or four dollars but i hope that in uh, future uh, price will drop i will uh, i can wait to make my custom pcb with it that's it thank you for your time i hope that you learned something and i will see you in next video goodbye